Hey guys, today I want to talk to you about as my cat's tearing up the scratching post. I want to talk to you about the most successful Kickstarter software Kickstarter on uh, in the world, basically, and why I think it was, and uh, what why it's important at times, or what a, va a valuable way to market yourself is with open source and giving something away for free. Like a it's it's kind of like YouTube to a d degree where. Here we give away content for free, and you know we do make ad revenue, but you don't make as much money <laughs> as you probably think, and you're putting something out for free, and in the hopes that it does something for you later. And I think the um, the Kickstarter we're about to talk about is a great example of how you can turn that into basically a business. So if you've uh, the reason I have my website up here is I wanted to show you in action. I made this website about a year ago when I was learning Angular JS and. It, uh, it's just basically my my, um, my 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 website for the YouTube channel, CodingTutorials360.com. I haven't really done too much with it. Uh, just kind of something I built for uh, for Angular again. But you see these icons right here: the LinkedIn icon, the GitHub, the Facebook, the Instagram, the Twitter, the YouTube. All of that are icons that I didn't build those icons. Where'd they come from? Well, if you're not familiar with Font Awesome, I I, I encourage you to get familiar. 90% of the sites you'll see will probably be using Font Awesome's free icon sets. All you have to do is just like a style sheet. You attach the style sheet and then you follow the classes that they work with. You can see right here we have a Windows Restore icon, an anchor, and you can search real quick, right? Like let's say we want Facebook. You'll see that there's a couple different Facebooks. And um, so there's, I believe there's 670, yeah, 675 free icons. So you can find one for almost everything and these are all free 675 free and a thousand on top of that if you decide to get the uh, paid one paid ones but so uh, the gentleman who who makes font awesome uh, currently in version 4.7 started a Facebook in which he was trying to raise thirty thousand dollars right Th which is you know he's a he's a professional UI UX guy I would imagine and he's trying to make he's like hey I've been doing this for so long I've given away free free content essentially uh, free hours of labor and time generating each of these, right? Making all of these 675. Uh, maybe I can start a Kickstarter so that I can get paid while I develop these next thousand or so for here. And what? how much did he raise, you say, to become the most successful Kickstarter in history? Well, a smooth one point, almost one million dollars. <laughs> Killing it, knocking it out the park, right? Thirty-five thousand five hundred and fifty people backed him, um, and um, you can still pre-order it, by the way. So one of the cool things: this is a combination of people appreciating somebody who's been providing value, I think, to the software community, and uh, had a Kickstarter designed to pro provide value back, right? So he's taken in one point one million dollars. Granted, he's got to deliver on that, right? Uh, just in this one alone, he has thirty thousand. Um, backers for font awesome pro in which you'll get his font awesome license early with the pro version at twenty dollars a piece and uh, you can get down all the way down here and of course you get like mugs and t-shirts so if you're not familiar with kickstarter real quick uh some uh, summarization of that it's basically someone says hey can you help me raise money and if you do you'll get these benefits right and sometimes a lot they're really dumb and if you want to find watch some funny ones you should uh check out uh, I dubs and uh, th he does like a Kickstarter crap episode of things that are just scams people do Kickstarters on but here we have somebody who is on his fifth iteration of designing icons that he's releasing hundreds of them for free to a community that uses them all the time I know balsamic a wireframing uh, toolkit that I use the icons you use in there they're actually built into balsamic for you to design your wireframes and things like that and he was able to knock out not 30,000 but just blow it out the park with one, almost 1.1 million and probably this is just the kickstarter right you can still pre-order uh some of these things on his on his website so if you're interested about that um i'm very happy for him i i, I think uh here you have somebody who's been devoting time and energy and uh, if you want to look over the um the kickstarter because i find all this sort of st software stuff very very interesting um, I'll definitely include a link in the description of the video below. But what I want you to kind of see here is that, oh, and then you have you have different um, different sort of stretch goals. Like let's say that you were able to get to two hundred fifty thousand. You know, you have another one. 
Um, and then 300,000, blah, blah, blah. And it, he got all the way up there um, to a million dollars. Good for him, though, man. That's that's That just warms my heart that not only is he providing value, but people are supporting somebody who's been making icons for all of us to use, right? It's not just me. I'm not the only one using Font Awesome. Uh, any developer will be uh, pretty much familiar with this stuff. They're built into a lot of templates, right? Where you'll even, maybe developers will be augmenting a template and they'll already have them built into their example template. You can see I have a PayPal one here and a Amazon one here and I use them again down here. Um, hope he builds a Patreon in this next one, man. That helped me out. Uh, this is just an image right here. But what I want you to take away is that if you are starting a project, because somebody somebody today sent me a message and he said, hey, you know, I'm a fan. I, I just want to let you know I kind of look at you like a mentor. It's you and whoever invented C++, so no pressure is what he said to me. <laughs> I said, okay. Um, he's like, I am a college student. Uh, how can I, how can I, uh, what should I do? I finished the front insert. How should, how can I proceed? What should I proceed? And I told him, I said, look, my advice to you is to start a long-term project. One, it's going to show you, it's going to stand you out, right? It's going to make you, it's going to make you, you know, employers, when they see projects, they don't want to see a weather app or anything like that. Like if that's all you got, great. But what they want to see is something that's unique and something that's different. And so maybe this started for him when he came out with 1.0 as a way to market himself, as a way to maybe he was just building it for a client and was like, hell man, maybe I could sell this. Maybe I can put it out there for free. If people use it, I'll gain traction. So there's a lot of different ways that you can market yourself and eventually turn a profit, you know, <coughs> a couple years later, right? So when I started my YouTube channel, I just wanted to, to have a video portfolio get better and it's done a lot for my career and I didn't really realize that at the time. I thought it'd help, but not in the in the effect it has. But when you're out there and you're, you're thinking like, hey, is it worth my time? It may not be worth your time the first year. It may not be worth your time the first two years, but you may find out that as you build a following, as you gain, you know, he has 30,000 followers on Twitter now, uh, 51,000 <coughs> people have started him and 9,000 people have forked it. You may find out that down the road, you can build up this audience of people who are supporters who, who love what you do and love your content. And you've proved to them that you are going to put out quality stuff that when the time comes for you to actually sell something, they're there. They're, 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 they're like that fries, uh, fries in, um, in, uh, in uh, Futurama. And they're holding up their money. They're like, shut up and take my money, right? <laughs> so um, I encourage you all to start projects that... Maybe you don't see a way of monetizing them right away, but there's always a way to monetize even free stuff down the road, even if it's just affiliate links and stuff like that, right? So uh, I hope that you are taking inspiration from Dave here, who I have no doubt his life has, like he has a lot of work, right? But even if it takes him two, three years to deliver everything that's in there, and I'm sure he's releasing these piece by piece by piece, right? And he's probably hired some people. <laughs> he just got 1.1 million dollars to basically do what he already loves to do, right? And it's because of the the steady grind of Font Awesome, and because of the reputation he's built in the web development community, that when Font Awesome launched a Kickstarter, the people who are fans of it told other people, and you know, a couple a couple uh, articles. I'm sure went out on Medium, a couple uh, shout outs here or there. And before you knew it, people were on this thing. And every time he hit one goal, it got talked about. And the next goal, and the next goal. I have no doubt that he never, th he thought maybe if in a good run, he might he might maybe double or triple. But he got, what is it, 35 times what, <laughs> what he was looking for? So it's a, and the $30,000 goal is not, he's probably thinking, you know, if I raise 30,000, maybe that's, that's a good amount for like, that'll help me for like five, six months, right? Uh, and now he probably has it enough money that at the end of this, he could ride off into the sunset really if he wanted to, but I, I don't imagine he will. But he has enough that he could probably start a UI UX company at this point and get, get some people in there to help him. Uh, but I, I love seeing success stories like this because it motivates me that maybe one day, I could do something that like that, and 
and I can go over there and be like, Dave, I beat you by one dollar, <laughs> whatever. Uh, I'm not gonna. That's not really my goal, but it's it's not it's motive. It's nice to see other people succeed. I, I'm very happy for Dave Gandy, and if you want to follow him, I encourage you to do so at Twitter and things like that. And if you haven't used the fun awesome icons, <clears throat> let me go ahead and just click on I guess the superpower ones. As long as you just import the file, you literally just throw this i tag in there. The FAW keyword and then the name of it right here, FAW Superpowers. And depending on how, depending on uh, the size of the icon you want, you could just use these additional classes, right? So this is a, the FAW Large, FAW 2X, FAW 3X. Really intuitive, really easy, and uh, a great thing to have it, to spice up your website as well. If you're not already doing that, I, I highly encourage you to take advantage of that. So congratulations to Dave Candy. Uh, fawnawesome.io check them out if, you, if you're not uh, familiar with them i love them i'm, I'm very happy for them and um i'm excited to see who will overtake the most successful software kickstarter ever and uh congratulations for you ha for having that man as always guys thank you so much for watching the video don't forget to comment like subscribe share and support me on patreon join our facebook group Cotech and caffeine and if you're interested we got a discord channel all that great stuff i want to know uh what kickstarters that you like as well why don't you just share some in are there other software kickstarters you know about because i i don't know too many right uh the only kickstarters i, I ever follow are like uh the ones that are bad so if there's some good so software kickstarters that i'm not aware of share them in the share them in the uh, comment section below so we can follow them and we can talk about it but uh, i'll see you guys in the next video bye hey guys thanks for watching the video Special thanks to our sponsors, Dev Mountain. If you're looking for a coding boot camp where tuition and housing is included, definitely check them out. Appreciate it, and I'll see you guys in the next video.